Welcome back to The Doctors. It's the how-to show. Next up is an irritating problem I'm sure all of you have dealt with at some point. I have something that's really bothering me. Every time I remove a Band-Aid, whether it's really, really slowly, or I just tear it off, ouch, my skin is completely raw. Is that normal? How can I avoid this? So let's talk about a couple of different things there. Yeah. Taking a Band-Aid off is gonna be a little bit painful because of just the glue, the adhesive, mm -hmm. particularly if you have hairy arms, like us men. <laughs> <laughs> there's going to be some irritation. So there's a difference when you wear a Band-Aid to having a little bit of irritation, which is normal, versus what's called Band-Aid dermatitis, where you have an actual reaction. Mm -hmm. So whether it's the latex, the glue, whatever's on that Band-Aid, you may actually have a reaction. We have a picture of this. If when you take the Band-Aid off, it's bright red and irritated, then mm -hmm. there's something going on in that Band-Aid that you need to replace. And it's just like other contact dermatitis, nickel dermatitis. People mm -hmm. who wear certain belt buckles will notice right around where their belt buckle is, they'll have a, a big area of redness, inflammation. Or just a round thing like that from the snap on your jeans can do it too. Absolutely. Contact dermatitis, poison ivy is a contact dermatitis. Mm -hmm. It's a reaction from your immune system to whatever substance you're putting on you, and it can happen with Band-Aids. But again, exactly. there are some alternatives. Yep, and there's some great ways to treat it. Now first, we're gonna see what's going on with this wound here. And Ooh. What you're going to see with the actual contact dermatitis is most of the reaction should occur right here where, where you're taking is. the Band-Aid off. Ow, that would have hurt. There's an inflammation going on, so you want to break that inflammation. And a great, there's a, a few great ways to do it. First, a cold milk compress. And what you do, you want to get the milk really, really cold. Put it over ice for a good five to ten minutes. And then, once it's nice and cold, just get some cotton swabs and dab it. And just dab it for about five minutes. Okay, and then re-dip and keep dabbing. Dab will do you? Yep, and that goes a long way to soothe that irritation. You can do this from, you know, whether it's a nickel or the latex or the glue and the band-aids. A lot of, it's very, very soothing. So other ways you can do it, hydrocortisone creams, antihistamine creams. If it's severe, an antihistamine by mouth can, can help a lot too. And the big takeaway here is everyone just pay attention. When you're putting things on your body, over, over and over again, and you're getting a reaction, stop using that product, mm -hmm. try Change something new. Something else. If you have a problem with the glue on Band-Aids, there's alternatives. Yeah. Dr. This is something I love. Uh, if you're really sensitive to that glue, you can use a tape, kind of make your own Band-Aid, and this is a glueless tape. There's no glue, it's not sticky at all. It sticks to itself, so you can put a little gauze on your wound, and then just wrap it around a couple of times. And what I really like for something like this, Voila is you get really good coverage, particularly if you work in an industry or a job where there's a lot of dirt flying around. You want to keep that wound clean. So this is a great option, mm -hmm. especially if you're if it's an area where you sweat a lot, where the band-aid's going to peel off anyway. Dr. Mm -hmm. Sears, thank you.